is up you guys so today I just wanted to show you three really quick and easy Dollar Tree um, DIYs first I needed a placemat for my front door so what I did is I picked up two place not placemats sorry door mats and then I grabbed this skeleton and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a doormat out of it. I thought that that would be fun. If you guys remember, I was looking for a doormat all over the place. And I was not I was able to find one, but it wasn't very Halloween. So I decided to pick up these and see if I could make a doormat out of them. So basically what I did is I grabbed those two doormats and that skull, which cost me $3. I already had this fabric fusion and I already had the hot glue gun. So basically, I am just going to take the fabric fusion and I'm going to, well first I want to line up the door mats because they are going to have to overlap each other just a little bit. Honestly, I didn't mind that though because I think that it looks really good once you get the skeleton put on. And as you can see, I'm kind of, I use a lot of that fabric fusion. I wanted to make sure that it really stuck down. So I put the fabric fusion there and then I placed that doormat on top of the other one. And I pressed it down and I held it there for a minute. And I wanted just to make sure that it was, it looked good. And then I wanted some extra reinforcement so I took my hot glue gun and all I did is I took the corners of each end, if that makes sense, and I basically just put a pretty good sized dab of hot glue, hot glue right there and then on the other side where the corners touched. And so then I did that once again in the middle. I just made sure that I got my hot glue gun and I put a good sized dab right there in the middle just for some extra reinforcement. I press that down and then I let it dry. Made sure that it was really kind of fused together and it had a good hold. Then I took this felt skull that I got at the Dollar Tree and then I found the, a proper, you know, I wanted it to look good so I placed it in the middle. And then basically I just took my hot glue gun I hot glued it at the top to the doormat and then I hot glued it at the bottom to the doormat. And then once it was placed down on the doormat and it was glued there, I wanted to just glue around the edges of the skull. And so then I did that again to the other side, just hot glued that side down too pressing it firmly down, making sure that it had a good hold. All right, and now once all of my sides were pressed down firmly and glued down, I took my fabric fusion and then I kind of just did like the insides if that makes sense. I did the inside of the eyes, the inside of the nose, and then press those down just to make sure that it was all secure. And that's really all you have to do and this is how it turned out. I actually think it looks really cute in front of my front door. I'm actually not bad at for three bucks. You can't beat it. Okay, so the next DIY that I wanted to do is I wanted to make a wreath using only Dollar Tree items. I had this spider, I also had this owl, and I had some, um, the cool thing about this owl is that the eyes lit up, and I couldn't decide if I wanted to use the spider or the owl. And then I had these flowers, they were really cute, they have the little eyes inside of the flowers, but basically for this wreath, I decided to use the owl. So I, I figured out where I wanted to place the owl and I kind of wanted it to be on the, on the side. And then I used a very generous amount of hot glue and I hot glued my owl to my wreath. First I hot glued the top and then I hot glued the bottom. And 
then once I had those two top, the top and the bottom hot glued, I just went around the owl and I hot glued pretty much like just put more hot glue everywhere the owl was touching the wreath just for some extra reinforcement. And so once I did that and the owl was reinforced, I have him hot glued down. And he actually, he was stuck there pretty good. Um, and I lit up his eyes and I thought this is going to be so cute for a wreath. So I took the flowers and then basically I just, I started taking it apart. Those really cute flowers come with um, spiders. So I took the spiders off. I took the little branches off and then I also took the roses off. And this, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure this took me probably about five or six bouquet of flowers. So I think I had three black and then three purple because I wanted my wreath to look full. And so I'm pretty much just going to take all of them off and I'm going to figure out where I want my flowers to sit on my wreath. I decided that um, I didn't really want black flowers by my black owl, so I wanted it to be kind of like purple and then black and then purple and then black. You guys will kind of see what I'm saying here in a minute. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your flowers and you're just going to press the stem, like the little stems of the flowers into the foam wreath and they actually stick really good. If you want you can use a dab of hot glue on the end and then stick them into the wreath and that kind of just will give it a little bit more reinforcement as well but for me it was actually working out really fine if I just stuck them into the wreath. And so pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my flowers and I'm going to figure out where I want them on my wreath. And as you can see, I'm kind of going with like the black and purple, black and purple. I really wanted it to look like it was black and purple throughout. I didn't want there to be too much purple here and too much black there. I really wanted it to just kind of flow if that makes sense. So here's what it's turning out like. I really love this wreath, you guys. I think it is so cute, so much fun, and it is so easy to make. The cool thing is, is I actually had a lot of those bouquets laying around, so. So as you can see, I'm almost done. I actually almost ran out of flowers. And I had two more bouquets that I was going to use for another DIY, but later on I decided that I better just go grab them because I didn't want there to be any bare spots on my wreath. And then right here I am going to take like the little stems. There were like little twigs that came with the bouquet. And there was also spiders that came with the bouquet, so pretty much I'm just going to figure out where I want to place those. There are, with the purple bouquet, there was purple spiders, and then with the black bouquet, there were black spiders. So I just took a couple of spiders and I placed them throughout my, my wreath, and then I took some branches, and I placed those in my wreath as well. And so here's pretty much what it turned out like. I love it. I think it is so cute, and it is so cute when the owl's eyes are lit up. It is just the cutest wreath. And then I had these Halloween ribbon that I also picked up from the Dollar Tree. I decided to use this black ribbon with the silver spider web. I thought that it would kind of go better, but afterwards I was like, you know, I think maybe I should have used the purple. But either way, it turned out really cute and I really like it. So here I'm just going to take a good amount of that ribbon and I'm going to cut it and I'm going to use that to hang my wreath.
Right here, you wanna make sure you get that sticky part off of the ribbon where it sticks to hold the ribbon closed, I guess. Make sure you get that sticky part off. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold the ribbon in half and I actually secure it with a little dab of hot glue on each end You don't have to do this. Sometimes I always think that I do things the hard way. I could have just cut the ribbon in half, but I did it like this. I don't know why. Um, you could just cut it in half. I think it turned out fine. So basically I'm just gonna fold it in half. Like I said, put a dab of hot glue on both corners. And then I'm going to wrap it around my wreath. So basically, just figure out where you want your ribbon to be placed and how you want your wreath to be hung. And this is how I wanted my wreath to be hung. And then basically, I'm just going to actually turn it around too. And on the back where the wreath is touching the foam, sorry, where the ribbon is touching the foam wreath, I'm going to add a dab of hot glue just to secure it so it doesn't slide around on my wreath how it turned out you guys I think it's absolutely adorable okay and also at the end of the video I will show you some more pictures of how they turned out so for this one I just needed a candy dish to go by my witch I had this cauldron already I picked up a couple years back from Walmart and then I had that candy dish that purple candy dish that I got from the Dollar Tree and then a green tablecloth that I also picked up at the Dollar Tree that I had laying around. I decided to print off some labels online. So I just picked some. This one said Witch's Brew. I thought it was the cutest one. So I printed that one out and I cut that one because I wanted it to go on my cauldron. And I, I forgot there was gloss paper in my printer. So it printed out on gloss paper. And I don't think gloss paper really mod podges very well, so basically I was just like, well, oh well, I'll just use hot glue, and I just hot glued it to the front of my cauldron. So that's what I did, is I hot glued it to the front of my cauldron, and the reason why I used that green tablecloth is because I wanted it to kind of look like a witch's brew, and that's really the only thing that I had laying around that was even remotely close to looking like a witch's brew so I just shoved that in there just for looks and then I placed this candy dish on top now what I'm learning about this experience is that um, I actually like the, the candy dish to not be secure on top of the cauldron because you know I'll like I would like to use my cauldron for something else and also my candy dish so you can either hot glue this candy dish to the top of your cauldron and and make it stay there or you can just put the candy dish on top when you want to use it this way. That way you can use your candy dish and your cauldron separately when that time comes. Like you don't necessarily have to secure and hot glue that candy dish to your cauldron. So this is how it turned out. I think it looks really cute. And you go ahead and just place your candy in the top of that dish. And there you go. It's actually going to sit on my front porch by my witch. It's going to look really cute. I think it looks adorable. So there it is out on my front porch. I hope you guys like it. And now I'll just show you a picture of all of my, my DIYs. There's my wreath. I'll show you my doormat and also my cauldron candy dish by my witch on my front porch. But basically, that's all I have for you guys today is just some quick and easy DIYs. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If I can get this to even 10 likes, I'll do another DIY video. So let me know what you guys think. 
I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!